It's estimated that since Darwin left these shores, over 7,000 scientific studies have taken place here. And the uniqueness of these islands means they are still making cutting edge finds. Today's mission is reaching new hidden depths of discovery and risk. This will be the deepest exploratory dive that's been done in the Galapagos, and it's potentially to find an entirely new species. So this is genuinely exciting stuff. For this mission, they need to dive 55 meters down, which is dangerously deep. Deep divers use specialist gas mixes for safety, but those aren't available in Galapagos. So the team will use standard compressed air, which ups the issues. Because the divers are going deep and they're gonna be down there for a while, if they went straight to the surface, they'd get the bends. So that what they have to do is come up very slowly. The bends, also known as decompression sickness, is caused when gas bubbles form in the bloodstream. It can be fatal, but coming up slowly in big, cold currents is problematic too. This ain't no ordinary dive. It's a really precise kind of military operation to make sure that three divers go over the side and three divers come back. The team are tackling this mission to learn about a previously undiscovered ecosystem and what could be a new species of kelp. Kelp is an ecosystem engineer, creating forests that provide food, habitats and nurseries for countless species. They are the rainforests of the sea, they're incredibly productive, uh, the fastest growing plant in the world. It's normally found in cold, shallow water, far from the equator. Discovering it here, in deep tropical water, is like finding a polar bear in the Serengeti. Today we're going to collect data that is going to tell us why this ecosystem is here. It's going to tell us how it exists here, what temperatures that is, does it like, what, what's the water quality, who's co-living with it. Maybe we'll find different species that are down here and we'll be able to describe this for the first time. As well as concerns about deep diving on compressed air, there are worries about currents. Deep water currents here are immensely strong, so a shot line is dropped to guide the team to the seamount. For safety, Monty is on hand. That's the surface of the sea right there. Now the team are gonna deploy down this line to the bottom. Now the team needs someone acting as a, a safety diver, essentially, and that'll be me. So I'll be hanging on the line about here. What I can also do is when they start ascending, I can grab some samples off them and get them to the surface. If they can reach the kelp 55 meters down, the divers will have only minutes to gather samples. We try not to do dangerous stuff, but we are pushing the boundaries in terms of what has been done before diving-wise for science. But, um, if it all works out, it's gonna be really worth it. Deep down in the blue, the kelp bed looms into view for the divers. It's much, much larger than they expected. The challenge now is to battle the strong currents and gather samples from this remote underworld. Salome thinks the kelp is growing because of the cold Galapagos currents and good nutrients, so there may be more unknown beds here and around the world. 